Usually, a dart is sewn by stitching along the line and then pressed to one side. However, with bulkier coat fabrics, there's just too much, well, bulk. Some instructions suggest adding a fabric scrap to the dart seam line, then pressing the dart and the fabric in opposite direction. It is an improvement, sure, but we can do better. Let me show you what I do. You will need two pieces of leftover fabric about 5 cm wide and 2 cm longer than the length of the dart. This is the perfect excuse to dig into your scrap bin and use that tiny piece of fabric you saved for just in case you know what I'm talking about. Fold the piece of fabric in half and align it with a dart center. Take your time to get this absolutely right. Open it up and pin in place. Again, take your time and don't rush. In my experience, pins work just fine, but if it is easier for you, you can baste it in place. The smoother the setup, the more satisfying the sewing will be. From the right side, stitch along the center line and press. You know, I really enjoy the pressing part. It's so satisfying watching everything smooth out and come together. The heat and steam do all the work, setting the stitches and making it look so much better. I always take my time with this part. It's such a small step, but it makes huge difference in the final result. So please don't skip it. Next, we need to snip into this angle, stopping about one millimeter from the seam line. Close and pin the dart, but don't force it to align at the bottom where we just snipped. This can skew the whole piece and we don't want that. Fabric definitely prefers a gentle touch over brute force. It remembers everything, so be nice to it. Place the second piece of scrap fabric under the stitch line of the actual dart and pin it in place. When stitching, start and backstitch on the scrap itself before following the marked line. This is again where we want to take our time. There is really no need to rush. We want to make sure the fabric layers stay aligned, especially with the scrap fabric underneath. It doesn't have to be on grain, we are not using it to stabilize the seam. We just want to make sure it looks nice and even from the right side. Snip the dart open so it can be pressed flat. Yes, there's a lot of pressing involved. Here, it is important not to press too hard, as you might end up seeing the edges on the right side. If that happens, you can always press under the edge from the wrong side to even it out, or steam it from the right side. It all depends on how the right side of your fabric behaves. After pressing the scraps to the opposite directions, we can trim those extra 2 cm we allowed for earlier and grade the scraps to 5 and 10 mm. This ensures that they don't show on the right side. Finally, we need to stabilize the pocket opening with interfacing and give the entire area a nice press. I like using self-fabric here to avoid disturbing the tiny hairs of the coat material. And there you have it! A dart for thick bulky coat fabrics. 